going to allow for these I'm going to say it, these take my home. I'm not going to let them take my home. I understand that the expenses have become very, very intense, but that's why I went and got a second part-time job. And you know what? If I have to get a third part-time job, I will. I'm not letting these take my home. But I am not going to let this condo association called Coastal Towers in Sunny Isles Beach, who seems to be coming up with daily schemes to try to take our units from us. See, the cars agree with me. I'm not going to let them take my home from me through different schemings that they're doing. From the notice that they put up that I had to send out rabid emails to them and to their attorneys, along with the help of an attorney, and thankfully that got taken down. But they're always coming up with something. I keep my home. I, I've already attained a second part-time job. But I'm going to work very hard not to let these people take my home from me. So we are in front of Pollo Tropical. Going to get a cheap meal and share it. And what I want to show you guys is that the Pollo Tropical, which is, you know, fast food, is directly across the street from these oceanfront buildings here. This is my lifestyle here. This is why I am fighting so hard to keep my apartment. My apartment happens to be in this city with this type of aesthetic and lifestyle, even though I live a few blocks that way and my building is old. So I'm trying so hard to fight for my lifestyle because I could never rebuy this. I don't, I don't even know. The, the apartment would sell so low, I can't even rebuy, rebuy anything. Nonetheless, rent. I'd be in the negative if I was renting off the cash. So I'm trying so hard to save it, whether that means getting an, a third part-time job. By the way, I have two part-time jobs now, and I, along with the channel, and I'm determined to save my home. I'm not gonna let these creepy people from my condo association take my home. Okay, you're not gonna take my home, my lifestyle, my, my, my assets, you're not gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna get a cheat meal, I'm gonna share it with my dad, and let's go inside. We're at Pollo Tropic Hall right now, and as you can see, we are across the street from these buildings on the ocean here. And I'm not gonna let my building or my condo association come up with different schemes in order to try to take my apartment from me. Just a recap, my condo association of a building called Coastal Towers in Sunny Isles Beach, I put out a notice that says in the event you ever basically down the road get into trouble and you wanna sell your unit, not that you're in default, or we put out a new assessment and you don't feel like you could pay it, that unless you could come up with all the money ahead of time and pay it in full, in the office ahead of time that you can't go to closing or sell your unit and you can't take it out of the sale which is called escrow at the closing which would be unheard of that would mean that you could never sell your unit that would mean that you would lose every dime and i almost panic sold sold which would have meant that i would have lost my home and no i don't know 100 percent that i will be able to keep my home I, i've already attained a second part-time job but i'm going to work very hard not to let these people take my home from me nose because I went to the nose doctor and although I am fine he told me I needed to put some goo in my nose because there was a start of a crustacean issue he said so um, I had to put some goo in my nose so if you see some goo coming out of my nose in this video that's why because I had to put goo in my nose it's pleasant and then you're like you know you're warm and everything so it starts to like ooze out <laughs> so just let me know if you see it so we're just getting out our foil here. It's hot as hell out, but for some reason, it smells like a lot of Windex in there. Windex is a popular thing in Miami. If you know, you know. So they didn't have yellow rice right now, so I got white rice. And then I ordered... I don't know if they charged me correctly. I think they charged me. I ordered a small black bean. There's a giant bucket of beans. Gave me a giant bucket of beans. Okay, so we're gonna be taking that home. And then I also got banana. The total was like $14. So I have a feeling they just gave me extra because they felt bad maybe that they didn't have the original thing I wanted. They were very nice. Oh my God, yeah. I ordered smalls and I don't think the price reflected large. I think they were just super nice. They're very, very nice here, ladies. So. 
I think they just gave me extra food. They thought I looked thin. They need, I need to plump up. Mm. So this is a treat, guys. We have been struggling. And um, so if we go to somewhere like Pollo, even if it's considered fast food, it's it's a treat for us. And I'm out filming. So I'm, I'm questioning now the warmth of this. You know how hot it is out here? And you know how hot this is? Okay, we better eat now. Okay, cut. So we just finished having our uh, cheat meal at Pollo. This is my lifestyle. I'm eating across the street at this Pollo Tropic Hall. Even though I don't live in these buildings, I live down the street and we all have access to the same thing. We all have access to the same shopping center with the same Starbucks. And yes, this is the divide here. Yes, you have these buildings on the ocean where people can't explain what they do for a living. But quite frankly, we all have access to the same environment, the same Poyo that I'm standing at. And yes, the poorer buildings are over here. You have rentals and poorer older condos here. And that's where my building falls into play. But I told you that they're going around now with some secret ballot or signatures and who knows what that's for. But I'm not going to let them take my home. I'm not. I'm not going to let them take my home. I'm not going to let them take my lifestyle. People would say, oh, sell and move into a nice quiet house somewhere up in Orlando. It's like the apartment would not sell for that. The apartment, if I'm lucky, I'm gonna be very blunt with you. You're lucky if I could get $240,000 for my apartment. And and you're, that doesn't buy anything today. The average house up in Orlando is, is $315,000 if you go on realtor.com. And I'm not going to allow for these I'm gonna say it, these take my home. I'm not gonna let them take my home. I understand that the expenses have become very, very intense, but that's why I went and got a second part-time job. And you know what? If I have to get a third part-time job, I will. I'm not letting these take my home. You know, the rental complex I had shown you guys, it's right there. And you know what? I would have to dip in the savings in order to rent there. We all have access to the same shopping center, to the same Starbucks. And I am not going to allow these my condo association try to do different scheming that takes my lifestyle from me. This is my home. And I'm not going to let my condo association do this. The last thing they did was they put up an illegal notice that almost got me to lose my home. And thankfully, combined with my rabid emails that I sent out to them and to their attorneys, even though I am not an attorney, I have every right to write them. And a very kind attorney who reached out on my behalf. We got it to stop, which means that in the event we got into trouble, we could sell. Before, couldn't even sell, which was putting you into a situation of panic selling. No, the expenses, yes, are currently too much. That's why I went and got a second part-time job. And no, it still may not be enough, but I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to fight to keep my home. I already got a second part-time job. Maybe it'll be enough hours. And if it's not enough hours, you know what? I'll get a third part-time job because I'm not gonna let them take my home. Yes, yes, you know what? It's true. Yes, it's true. All the rumors you've heard of Sunny Isles Beach are true. All the rumors you've heard of Miami are true. No, okay? The people that live in these types of buildings, can they explain to you what they do for a living? No, okay? I'm not gonna lie and say that they can. We all know how Miami operates, but you know what? We all have access to the same lifestyle here. The beach, the shopping center, and for me and my family, we're moral. I don't give a damn about these buildings, okay? We have always paid our bills morally. And right now my building happens to be in this city and I'm not going to allow these people through different schemings or different, you know, raises in the prices that they come up with to steal my home. I'm currently worried about <coughs> different potential scheming they could be doing with the new contractor. And you know what? I'm sending off emails with that too. And you know what? I'm reporting them to the, I think it's called the Florida condominium timeshare and mobile home. This is who you report condo associations to when you suspect uh, sketchy things and you know what I'm in process of filling it out and I've already told the condo association as well as the condo association's attorneys that you know what I'm already reporting you to them and I'm not gonna stop I'm not gonna stop if it's between allowing these to take my home and me reporting them why in the world would I not report them I'm not going to let it happen
I'm not gonna let it happen. I will report them to every oversight agency in existence. This is my lifestyle here. If you go to Publix here, the Publix is literally across the street from the beach. Literally across the street from the beach. This is the view from the Publix. The ocean front line buildings here. And literally the ocean is right there. Let me show you. This is my home. That's the ocean right there. Yes, ironically, there'll be a building here soon and you won't be able to see it. But this is my home. And I'm not letting these come up with one scheme after another to take my home. It's not going to happen. I will work harder. I will post more. I will make more videos. I will get a third job if I have to. Because I'm not letting these creepers take my home. You know, we're at Publix. We just bought our groceries a minimum amount. You know, we have this new beautiful Starbucks that's gonna be opening another one here, right across the street from the beach. This is my lifestyle here. I am not going to let this condo association at Coastal Towers and Sunny Isles, who's coming up with these different schemes, whether it's them going around with signatures, whatever they're trying to do, or um, um, the, the, the notice that they tried to do that I got them to stop with, with the help of an attorney. I'm not or going to let, now the fear of the new contractor and the scheming they come up with that. I'm not going to allow these to try to take my home via different scheming that forces me to panic sell. They're not gonna take my home. They're not gonna take my lifestyle. I will report them to every agency that I have to to get the, the, this behavior to stop at this building. And I will, like I said, I've already attained a second part-time job, which will start shortly. And if I have to get a third, I will. Okay, what this is teaching me, and I hope to be able to look back on this video a year from now and know that I've gotten through a lot of this, is that you fight, you fight back. You fight back, you don't let people win, you don't let people take your home or your property. You fight back, you learn to, to be stronger, even when you don't think you can be. And I'm not going to let these people do this. I will, I will get a third job. I will report them. I will, I will work harder because they're not going to win.